Git has many often overlooked features, one of these being Git hooks. I'll show you how they work and some practical examples. Let's get started. A hook is just a shell script that is ran on a certain Git event, namely pre-commit, post-commit, and pre-push. They can do anything you want, like checking style or running tests. Let's set up a Git hook. Navigate to the .git slash hooks directory in your project. Here you can see a few sample hooks. Let's make a hook to check the style of my NeoVim configuration with Stylua. If the script exits with a non-zero exit code, then the changes won't be committed. Let's say we don't want to commit directly onto the main branch, only on dev or feature branches. This hook checks what branch we're on and fails if we commit to the main branch. We can add that after the Stylua check. Let's make a change that would fail the Stylua check. As you can see, Git prevents us from committing. Let's format the code and try again. Now we're allowed to commit. Git hooks can serve as invaluable tools in your workflow. However, their impact on productivity varies depending on the specific hook. Deploy them judiciously. Opt for a hook whenever continuous integration isn't the optimal choice for the task at hand. If you like what I do and would like to support me, please check out my Ko-fi page. Link in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments or join our Discord community. Thanks for watching.